Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So it is finally here, the summer wipe for Escape from Tarkov, taking the game up to 13.5. Um, that is the new content patch as well. By the time this video is up and live, the wipe will have taken place. They have just announced that they're extending it a little bit, but I doubt that will be for too long because it was a six hour update. So they're probably just tidying a few things up. <laughs> Actually, in fact, I've just looked and they've tweeted out to say that the installation is now done. So I will take a look at the size of the installation installation and see what that is and get back to you guys but we're going to go through the patch notes real quick i'm going to paraphrase through these patch notes because they're quite extensive so i would highly recommend going and checking out the link in the description below which will take you to the full patch notes if you want to read every sort of little like nitty-gritty sort of information bit out of it i'm just going to pick out the juicy bits and go through them really quickly with you guys so what you can see rolling in the background is the new trailer this is to advertise this new patch and the trailer is showing off um, the new streets of tarkov expansion which is first on the patch notes and you'll also see the new boss on that uh, trailer as well towards the end Caban or Caban I don't know how you want to pronounce it I'm just going to call him Caban so they said they've added a new boss Caban and the description that they give is he once had a small legal business in Tarkov but was not afraid to use criminal methods of money acquisition after the general evacuation he remained in the city and his gang has grown his size allows him to fire various heavy machine guns without resting the gun but at the same time Caban cannot afford to be mobile and therefore either stays in position position or move slowly from point to point during combat. He has a large number of well-armed guards, some of whom are former military men who have organised a strong defence for him. The boss dwells in the area of the car park repair shop on streets of Tarkov. This area is heavily defended. Entrances are fortified with stationary machine guns and AGS. The paths are mined and there are snipers on the roof of the car service centre. Caban uses a custom rig to store machine gun boxes, wears body armour under his clothes and has unquestionable authority among his guards scav nearby will help the boss with defense and will engage in combat for him so yeah he sounds like he's going to be pretty decent to take on i would expect that the loot should be good given the amount of stuff you're going to have to work through to get to him so no doubt everybody will be jumping into streets of tarkov to try and get a uh, good look at this guy and take him on so there should be some pretty good battles going out especially the streamers that are going to jump on it today they will be jumping all over this guy so it'll be good to see what he actually looks like then we've had kit presets added in which we've spoken about before so you're going to be able to save a preset loadout for your character and they're saying that you will have 15 basic equipment presets available from the start and you can build that up to 50 custom gear presets eventually so yeah you're going to be able to sort of save a preset sort of for every um, sort of situation that you might get in in the game random loot containers are now in containers will now spawn at random points the number of spawn points before containers has been increased on all locations large wooden crates some terror group crates large cash registers and file cabinets have now always spawned at their respective locations sidearm quick swap we knew about that one you're going to be able to press a key and just switch to your sidearm quicker than you used to be able to but this will use arm stamina and if you have insufficient arm stamina your, hen your hands will tremble with the gun in your hands but obviously increasing the um, weapon mastering for this will lower the amount of stamina consumed when swapping to your pistol they've had a lot of improvements to the peaceful behavior of bots so they've added routes for looting containers by scavs on streets of tarkov location not quite sure what that is i don't know if i get it the way i'm reading it is that bots will follow a set route and loot containers so it could be worth a, a punt at shooting these scavs because they might have some pretty decent gear on them if they've been looting containers that's how i'm reading that one and um, there's the reduced reloading speed of low difficulty bots so they will now be slower they can no longer instantly rotate and shoot they will have to do this a lot slower they will loot other corpses for rigs and backpacks and weapons and things like that but they already did that to a certain degree anyway i'm assuming a battle state have just tidied that up and they now take more than what they did before bots can share an item with a scav player if the player calls out to them they will drop items for them and there's been a couple of other little changes to them there are now bot gangs so there are going to be scav gangs so what they say is that the ai scav group system has been improved now a group of scan uh, scavs that will operate as a team will spawn uh, there is a certain chance for them to spawn they are going to be better organized in combat and are essentially small gangs of scavs so it'd be interesting to see how they play out then there's some commands to bots that have been added in so 
shouting out the help command when this command is used all bots with a certain chance and in this significant radius will go to the player and engage in combat with the enemy you can ask them to spread out with a certain chance the bots in the reasonable radius will take cover and spread out over the area you can tell them to take cover you can tell them to be quiet you can tell them to stop and you can tell them to follow you so that you can create your own <laughs> gang with them some of those have been in the game already but again they're just working on the ai and making it a lot better then we've got quality of life changes the user interface of the trade quest and ragman service screens has been redesigned the player now can quickly equip or replace an item with any of the available items in the stash via a drop down menu by clicking on the character slot the fps meter no longer overlaps the raid timer that's a hugely important one <laughs> it always used to annoy me that double clicking on consumables automatically uses the item in terms of functionality double clicking is similar to the use option in the context menu of the item you can turn on the tactical device or helmet mounted lights by pressing the h key when holding down the four hot keys when using the first aid kit and other medical supplies a drop down menu of body parts that treat that you can treat will appear when using the first aid kit the list shows all the characters wounds when using other medical items only those body parts that can be healed with that item are shown to activate it you will need to set the hot key mode to release and they've added new images to the loading screens which is an important one then we've got the gun stand that's been added into the hideout i don't really know what this looks like but it says it's a new mo mo uh, weapon mod uh, blah, i'll get there in the end it's a new module called weapon stand has been added to the hideout the stand had three levels of pumping each level can hold a certain number of weapons only weapons with all critical components can be placed in the shelves of the weapon stand so it'd be uh, interesting to see what that looks like we've got the quick sale of scav gear you'll be able to sell gear that you can't maybe fit in your stash or don't want direct to fence when you're leaving a scav raid so that's a good one so if you're putting it into your inventory and then having to go into fence or the other various sellers and sell it to them you can just flog it all to fence if you don't want any of it improved display of the crafting process they've added animation and color indication to the icon of the module where the crafting is in progress finished craft is now displayed first in the module list clicking on the complete craft counter takes you to the module that has an item ready for pickup then we've had some graphics performance things changed in the game the visual effects of anesthetic have been changed new technology of fog rendering has been implemented in streets of tarkov adding a new culling system to the lighthouse location improved the culling system of streets of tarkov increased the accuracy and performance of the system overall an optimization of resource consumption by the sound system then we've got the new weapons that have been added into the game the svt 40 and the avt 40 rifles are in the ak-12 assault, assault rifle is in the pkm and the pkp light machine guns are in rizzy's sawn off shotgun is in and the pm and pb pistols have been updated we've got a list of new ammo that's been added in as well obviously to support the new guns i'm not going to go through that got balance changes various balancing changes have been made to ammo trade changes and crafting within the hideout got some balancing to some of the quests so there's a list of quests that you can go check out they've had balancing change to those the shooting range the requirements for that have been changed the defective wall the requirements for that to unlock it have been changed and obviously the gym has had its requirements changed as well and then there's a list of fixes so like i say i'm just paraphrasing through this because i don't want it to be a really really long video but those are the main points of this patch so yeah a big thumbs up i think to battle state especially if we get good performance out of streets of tarkov it's strange to note that we haven't had the move over to unity 2021 yet or if we have they certainly haven't let us know that that's taken place i did expect it to be in with this patch i thought they might just roll it up all up into one but it seems like they're just going to hold off a little bit for that so performance wise on streets of tarkov i don't really know what people are going to be getting it was a shocker for some people before now it's even bigger it could be even worse but there has been lots of changes in the background made to try and push the performance of the game so that it works better so it'd be interesting to see what kind of performance people get from that so if you have watched all this video and then you do go play the game please leave a comment down below and let me know what your experience of this patch is it'd be interesting to gauge just how well it's playing for people and i've noticed now that on the launcher it is a free gigabyte download which i think is one of the largest patches we've ever had for escape from tackle i don't think i've seen anything bigger than three gigabyte before but yeah somebody might correct me on that we might have had a larger one in the past so that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and i will catch you in the next one take care